So now if you add a um, padding to the body wrapper, uh, 0, 40 px, it'll just add on to CS 1080 instead of the 1000 px we uh, said it should be. So when we make it inner, it'll add on to that. So padding 40, 0, 40 px, save that, refresh. And now that you see that the body wrapper is a thousand pixels with still its 40 pixel padding. Okay, so now we also need to add the padding uh, to the top here, which is look how far that is. Copy that, file new. It is uh, 26, so let's just say it's 25 pixels, 25px. Well, don't need that extra colon, save. Now we have it like that. Now let's work on the uh, rounded corners at the bottom. Right here. Okay, so we need to add the border radius to our body wrapper. And we'll just go up and copy that since, there, since there's three uh, three tags, um, attributes, I mean. Add those in. Save that. And we actually don't want all corners. Right now it's we're doing every single corner we actually want only the bottom corners to be that so let's just get rid of that and make border bottom right radius 8px and then we have to do border bottom left radius 8px and spill right right and now for the Mozilla, so Moz border radius and bottom right 8px and Moz border radius bottom left 8px. Okay, save that. So now only the bottom two corners are um, curved around it. Okay, so now let's go over to the body and see what color this text is so we can just have the whole body be that color. 3C. Alright, we'll just go up to our body tag so all the normal text should just be this color. So color, put that color in, save. Now the color that, all the colors that we don't specify will be that color. Okay, so now that's done. Let's work on this combination here of the advertisement in the middle and the login, the tag on the side. So first the advertisement, let's save that image so we have it ready. Okay, control C, file new. Just drag that out and get this whole group, drag it onto there. We don't need this anymore. And now we just need to center it, so select the group, vertical centers, and horizontal centers. Get rid of the background, it might be affecting it, so file save. And we'll save this as advert, that PNG. Save that. And while we're at it, we need to save our tag. So let's get rid of um, all of these so we can copy merged. Control Shift C, file new. Okay, drag this out. Drag the whole group into here. Control A, and then align it to the vertical and horizontal again. That's done. Get rid of the text because we'll be adding that ourselves. Get rid of the background so it's transparent. Save that. And we'll save this as tag.png. And I'm going to leave that up so I can see the size of it later. So now that's done. Let's just bring up this stuff back again. Okay, now that's done. And let's add our um, div class equals advert and slash div. Add our image in there. So image src equals advert dot png. That's done. Get our class right here. Go down. 
put it in and this is width of 400 px and height of 100 px well, missing a cone okay there we go and let's also make this a link because this will be an advertisement so it's going to be linked a h r f uh, equals that slash a okay so that's done now we should have our image in there um... did I spell it differently? um... advert.png um... should be working image src did I have to put anything? oh images, images folder, okay images slash, okay that makes sense, okay so now that's on there go back to our advert and we want to center this in the middle so margin zero auto put that in refresh and now it's in the middle of our thing linked like we had it and now it's time for the tag tag right there so first off we want to add a tag class save that go back over here go outside the div add our div class equals tag close off the div and log in or register so log in or register save that we want to add a background of the image so background colon url uh, parenthesis images slash um, what's its name tag.png like that close that off Find out the size, images, image size, 179.57, width, 179px, height, what was that, 51, 57, 57, okay. Save that, and save that. See what happens here. As you can see, it's not even lined up at all. But what we're going to do is float it right and position it relatively up to where it should be so let's move right here float float, float right and what that does is float it way to the right side like that and we also see overlapping and how it doesn't work that way it like goes outside of the div a div clear will fix that so we need to add div class equals clear right here at the end of our um, body wrapper inner refresh and now it fills up the correct space we should also add some we should also add some space to the bottom of the body inner or the body wrapper so margin bottom 80 pixels save that okay so now that's done we need position relative to tag position relative close that off and left um... let's just go forty seven how big is it fifty seven let's go forty seven px just for right now and top negative seventy five pixels save that okay and we're close let's just test this out tag we want to go left probably 75 no 67 oh 66 should be good yep 66 okay so left 66 top 75 is the perfect amount so now we're right in the middle and now we just need a uh, style our text in the middle so exit all that and see what it is so go over to our uh, tag find out the color of it okay and we we'll just add to this color like that save it and we also need to find out the font size that is 18 pixels font size 18 px save that refresh and now we have that okay so now we just need to add some padding to that check it out um, 
padding 18 padding 0 18 pixels save that oh we should add, see it's adding a to the out like the, the total width so it's more than the width we specified so it's um repeating our background but just so that doesn't happen let's add background background repeat no repeat and let's also add an inner to the tag so that doesn't happen at all so div class equals tag inner indent that close it off and now it's time to add the padding to that right here and while we're at it we might as well just take all the font stuff with it and close it off properly refresh and now that's good now we want to just uh, vertically align it and this thing right here which we just need to find out the height of this so yeah right here control C that is 38 pixels so we just need to add a line height of 38 38 px save and now it's centered in there so now we have it that part all finished as you can see and now you just need to add our simple dummy text right into the body so we just find some dummy text right now dummy text and this generator is pretty good let's get 500 and just copy that and then paste it into our body Whoop. there we go pretty long save refresh and now we just need to make it add some padding or spacing to the this and size the text down to 12 points pixels alright we just add this to a div so we can style it. Div class um, content and slash div. Save that. And make our class of content font size 12 pixel. Save that. And now we just need to add the padding or the spacing to this. So, add, let's just add another div to make the spacing. Div, or can add a div class clear here just to make sure it's not floating and messing up. And then div class equals spacer. Close that off. And add maybe. Let's just go measure it how much about we have over here. Um, copy that. File new. About 40. So let's add height, height 40 px, and we'll just make it a width of at least one pixel. Width, save, refresh. Oh, that seems too much. So let's just change the spacer so let's look at that see what's happening here spacer clear so I guess it should be good without the spacer I guess so we can just remove the spacer leave the CSS in case you need to use it later save that refresh and now we have our text sorry for the cut I just need to make this transition on the links so first transition all point zero point two s linear Next to the WebKit one, and then the Mozilla one, they're all the same thing. And then the O transition for Opera. Next, you gotta do the box shadow on the body. Box shadow zero five px ten px RGBA zero zero zero, which is black and point two opacity. Next to the Mozilla one, and finally we have to do the WebKit one. As you can see, we have a nice fading effect on the links, and we have a nice box shadow around our body. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe on our YouTube, register on visualpulse.net. See ya.